Inside Edition, Bikers Gone Wild. Imagine driving your car and seeing this. Wheelies, weaving in and out of traffic, risking life and limb, and putting your family in danger. Oh my gosh. Bikers Out of Control. Inside Edition investigates. Chances are you've seen those guys on motorcycles doing all kinds of wild stunts. Well, guess what? Some of them aren't doing it just for fun. For them, it's big business. As Matt Mahar reports in this Inside Edition investigation, their business of selling videos of their stunts could be putting you and your family at risk. It's motorcycle mayhem. They're driving on the wrong side of the road, doing wheelies, weaving in and out of traffic, performing dangerous stunts, and terrifying people on the road around them. Oh, oh my gosh. The family in this car was driving to a baseball game when they found themselves surrounded by motorcyclists for five full minutes on a busy highway in Washington State. That has got to be so illegal. The motorcycle stunters are risking their life and limbs, and they're putting everyone on the road in danger. Watch as this biker on Interstate 95 in Maryland, one of the busiest roads in America, wipes out in the middle of the highway. He survived with just these bruises. His name is Kenny Kelly, and he leads a group of stunt riders calling themselves the Adrenaline Crew. No, we're not drug-crazed lunatics. They take their wild stunts on public highways and then sell videos with titles like awaiting trial, and 100% illegal. For that crash on Interstate 95, he was cited for reckless driving. That was a stupid error on my part. Very, very stupid. We a don't... stupid error, but caught on tape and highly promotable, and probably one of the biggest reasons that this tape is a success, right? Yeah, most likely. Most likely, my wipeout is one of the reasons that's successful. That's why it's in there. <laughs> Kelly and his crew pull their stunts all across the country. At speeds reaching nearly 200 miles per hour, their motorcycles can easily outrun a police car. But still, sometimes they get caught. The day we met up with them, they were doing their stunts legally in a parking lot in Baltimore. Kelly says because they're so experienced, they don't pose much of a risk to the public. Is that fair to the general public, that, that you're profiting off you know, something that is potentially very dangerous for people other than yourself? Well, cell phone companies profit off cell phones, and more people are killed in cell phone accidents than in motorcycle accidents. That doesn't make a lick of sense. Kelly's crew is just one of many groups taping their dangerous stunts on the nation's highways. Many are now using elaborate Hollywood techniques to capture their antics in the most dramatic ways. Now cops are cracking down. John Lego is with the California Highway Patrol. We're doing surveillance in an area that's known for stunters to gather. This night, he's trying to intercept potential stunters before they get on the highways. What's happening, man? How you doing? He came upon this group of bikers at a gas station. One of the riders showed us how he flattens the gas tank so he can easily sit on his handlebars while riding. But he assured Sergeant Lego he only does stunts on private property where it's legal. Since Lego says these bikers didn't break any law, he let them go with just a friendly warning. Stunting is very dangerous. They show total disregard, no courtesy, and that's why we're aggressively enforcing it. And we see you stunting, you're going to jail. But no matter how hard the police crack down, riders like Kenny Kelly and his crew say they have no plans on slowing down. Well, what do you think? Give us a call at 800-296-2446 for today's question. Should these motorcyclists be allowed to make money from their reckless behavior? We'd like to know what you think.